So, right, I've actually been meaning to make this video for quite some time now. So, there was a video that I made at the start of this year or end of last year, which was about managing your channel on Mixer. And in typical fashion, Mixer decided to redesign the way that you manage your channel. So that video, although it's done really well, and I really appreciate everyone watching it, is irrelevant now because they've changed a lot of it and it doesn't make any sense. Which I noticed a few people comment that. So I wanted to do an updated one. So what's basically happened is in the last six, seven months or so, uh, Mixer released something called the Broadcast Dashboard. And everything that was in the managed channel bit before got moved over into Broadcast Dashboard. And it actually has a few new features as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a really, really quick rundown of the, the basics of it, how it works, what you can see on there. So yeah, let's take a look. So, it's really easy to get this broadcast dashboard. I always recommend doing it on a PC because you get the most options. You, when you stream off of mobile, you only get limited options, like changing the title and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, go on to Mixer.com, sign in. You get your little profile picture at the top right, just up here. So you can see I'm on my bot, Mr. Meeseeks, right here. This is one of my chat bots. Uh, and you'll see this option, broadcast dashboard, right here, which I'll just zoom in there. You can see it right there, broadcast dashboard. And um, yeah, essentially, this is your managed channel section right here. So you'll, you'll recognize this screen initially. You'll see you've got the basics, the stream title, the game that you're streaming, the audience rating, uh, the language of your channel, because Mixer can basically say this is an English stream, this is not an English stream. Uh, the share text is if someone shares it on social media, like Twitter, this is the message that it will post right there. So what I actually did is percent user percent I changed to my Twitter URL because um, my Twitter name, like my Twitter username is different to my Mixer username is Smiler Media, not Smiler. Uh, you also get, if you use Hypebot to post in your chat, you get the hosted message right there. You can also turn on follow and subscriber announcements as well. This is if you want to use Mixer's own Hypebot, rather than your own bot to do announcements in the chat. Uh, and then Catbot as well. Catbot is basically a like auto chat moderation which Mixer introduced. And it basically does like bad word filtering and stuff like that. And you can choose what level you want it on. By default it's on very low and this is for all channels. If you want it stricter and you want it to do most of your chat moderation, I'd recommend upping it a little bit. So you got low, medium, high. It's on very low by default. I'd maybe put it low, medium. Try it, see how it is. It may filter too much, turn it down a bit if it does. It's as easy as that. So yeah, that's the main page on here. You also get, very importantly, the stream setup at the top there. So you get a stream key. You've got the stream setup option. Mixer is really cool. They give you examples of how to set it up. If you're on a stream on Xbox or Windows 10 with the built-in stuff, it tells you how to do that. If you want to use OBS, Streamlabs OBS XSplit, which are like the three main used bits of Streamlabs, like streaming software, it tells you right there. You can do it right there. The key, the stream key, is like your unique key. That means that when you stream from any of that software, it goes to like it goes to your channel and I mean you can see part of my key there but it doesn't matter because it's a bot account no one's gonna stream to this anyway um, yeah so that's the broadcast section you've got customize customize is where you change your avatar you've got social thumbnails you've got a channel intro you can see where I was making a uh, uh, what do you call it a uh, bio for Ron A Lobster I'll go do another video at some point as well explaining how to do the bio so you can see this is where I was making a bio for her testing it out uh, but yeah, this is where you can basically change the visuals and the information on your channel. Profile picture, offline image, social image, which is basically if you share the stream, like the stream URL, it puts a social image. That's what that is basically. And you can also add social profiles if you want to add like links to your Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, that sort of stuff. You can put all that in there as well, which is really cool. Uh, past streams. If you streamed, you can save VODs. If you've enabled it on your channel, uh, you can save VODs. This is where you see all of your past streams. You can download them. This is how I edit a lot of my videos as well. I get clips and download past streams. You can get that in here as well. Obviously, this bot's not getting any because I don't stream on it. Um, you got the clips section as well, which is right there. You can do clips on Mixer. Um, it was a thing that's introduced to partners, but yeah, there's a dedicated clip section, which is currently in beta. But it's really cool. It's really cool. Users! You can basically see your moderators. People you make moderators in here. You can promote, demote, and that sort of stuff. You can also see people that have been banned from your channel. I always check this as well because although I do trust my moderators, I know that sometimes people are banned and I don't necessarily want to keep them permanently banned. Like, I, I always believe in giving people second chances. The, the main accounts that I have banned permanently are ones with offensive names that haven't changed their names like really offensive names so I keep those banned otherwise I, I I'm quite like open to giving second chances and uh 
yeah, I mean, there's other bits you've got on here as well. Skills, effects, stickers. You can basically turn on and off skills that you don't want to be able to be used in your stream. So say you don't want people, say you don't like fire trucks. You could you could turn off the fire trucks so people can't use it. I mean, I don't really see any point in doing that, but it makes it give you that option if you don't want these. They give you options to turn off, which is really cool. And one really nice feature, which for anyone that's like a grown streamer, they want to learn this sort of stuff, I think is really cool. You've got the analytics and the patronage right there. You can see basically how you've done with your streams. You can see uh, top games across the platform. Um, you can see Sparks followers, all that sort of stuff that have been spent. Patronage as well. You can see basically the amount of Sparks people spending in your stream. This stuff is really cool if you want to reward people that invest a lot in your stream as well. I think that's really cool. You can use this to like reward them, which I think is amazing. So, I think that basically covers everything. So that was basically a rundown of the new broadcast dashboard mixer. I say new, it's basically been out since the start of this year. It's just I've taken my time in making this updated video. Uh, so sorry about that, but here we go. There's the broadcast dashboard. If you've got any other questions or you want any more information about any of this, you can put a comment down, just down there in the YouTube comments. You can reach out to me on my social medias, Smiler across most of it, Smiler Media on uh, Twitter. Smiler on Instagram, Smiler on Mixer. You're welcome to come to my stream and ask me a question. My Discord server as well. Wherever you want, I'm more than happy to help. But thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you soon in another one. Bye!